kind of big to be on my desk, so you gotta sit right there. But today, we're going to two events. We're booked and busy, okay? <laughs> we're going to, I always forget what the events are called. We're going to a Hero Cosmetics event, but that's second. And then we're going to a Beyond the Brush event. It's a TikTok event, and I'm pretty excited about them. I get nervous when there's an event, when the event is like networking based, like they want you to go and network. Because I think I'm good at chit chatting. And honestly, I think I'm good at networking. Mm, I just don't know if I enjoy it. But I mean, I guess who enjoys networking? I don't know. I like to just like chat to people casually. So I think when I think about networking, it feels like it has to be like pretend or else people don't really like it. And I don't know, I kind of hate that. <laughs> like I want to just chat away. Like I want to meet someone and be like, girl, I love your skirt. It's kind of how I talk to people in general when I meet them. I don't know, we'll see. Y'all dirty too, oh my gosh. And I do like this bust down a lot. This wig looks good. I do think I'm gonna have to bring a cloth clip with me though because I told y'all she, oh my gosh. The hair is so dark. It's making the liner that usually looks pretty deep on me look really light. So I'm actually gonna use chestnut. I was using plum just now from MAC. Now I'm gonna use chestnut because chestnut is for one, a bit more neutral of a color. And then for two, it's a bit deeper. Okay, I just put, I just set my face, but I'm trying to, the heck? I'm gonna fix my lace a little bit. I re-glued it this morning, but I like to just take some adhesive spray and just pat it on the on the tips of the lace because I've noticed this this holds a lot better than when I'm literally spraying it right on there myself because spraying it right on there just gets it everywhere and it doesn't even hit where I want it to. So this way kind of concentrates it exactly where I want it to. I'm trying to get any hair out the way. Can you move? Can you move? Can you move? Oh my gosh, you know what I was, I've been talking about randomly so much lately? Just because of the video I did with my sister when I was talking about how mean I used to be to her and how much I was like so regretful about it. I've been talking a lot like to like different people about like the older sibling experience and I didn't realize so many people like physically fought their siblings until then. My sister and I have never fought ever, ever, like actually gotten into like a full blown fight. Nothing, we never even like slapped each other like I don't know, there just wasn't a thing that my mom was like letting fly. Like our mom didn't play that. Like if we ever fought, I think we were always too afraid of what she would say if we actually put hands on each other just because the words exchanged were were enough. <laughs> we got in enough trouble for the things we said, so. Fists exchanging is crazy. The makeup's been eating so bad lately. Like wow. Like that is a good, soft, like, glam. Who the hell is calling me? Battering me. Oh, it's Nina. We're getting ready, but I've got like no time. Not because I'm gonna be late, but because I'm gonna be late to be in early and y'all not on play that. I think I'm just gonna wear this shirt. Girl, it's literally from Amazon. But wait, but wait, I know it's warm, but wait. Nia's gonna be so mad at me when she sees this. I'm supposed to be calling my Uber right now. I have to finish my hair before I call my Uber because I'm getting an Uber comfort and they don't wait on your ass. So I am dressed very basic, but I like it though. I wish it was winter so that I could wear like a, like a cool jacket. I'm just wearing my red cutie little um, shoes, my little red riding hood shoes. I'm using the TPH leave-in moisturizer to take the wig out and it's doing, I did it in this side and look how luscious that side of the hair looks like, what? She looks fantastic. And like, like people better think this is my hair or else um, you're like a liar. If you're looking at this and you're like, girl is giving synthetic. You know what, I shouldn't have said that because I feel like sometimes y'all be saying shit out of spite. Mm. Oh my gosh, my makeup looks so good. The hell? Start from the end and go on up. 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 I'm wearing a red purse, my red coach purse, and I got no damn earrings. Oh my god. Ooh, I'll wear the matching earring to my necklace. I have the red necklace and then I also have the matching earrings. Nia's gonna call me back in five minutes and be like, why are you still inside your house? And I'm gonna say, well, yes! Pattern Beauty um, Detangler. Like, she she D's the tank. And I gotta cut it when I get home. Like, the bottoms, girl, even with products, they're sad. I'm gonna bring a claw clip with me just in case she gets matted while I'm out. I don't wanna bring a comb because I'm just gonna be shedding everywhere. I don't wanna, that's gross. So, I'll just bring some some claw clip. Actually, I'll just cut the back. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad when I get home. I'm gonna have to clean some damn hair. Ugh. I'm literally just gonna, like, cut off the matted ends. Give them a little chop. I'm so smart, I'm so smart. I'm gonna cut it over my chair so it just falls on the chair, not the floor. Smarty butt banana bloat. That's me. Oh, gee, I'm rushing. Period. Hello. Oh, I don't think I cut enough. 
Oh no, it's fine. Period, 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 period. Oh, it was so smart to do that. Let me get some Fenty Stronghold gel, cause she's eating. I put some on the top, but I'm just gonna run some through as well. That's luscious. That looks gorgeous. Well, yes! Well, yes! Fuck, Erin! Okay, sorry, 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 I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. She's gonna block me. I doubt she's gonna see me, but if she does, she's definitely gonna block me. I literally have that as a sound on my soundboard, like, please. I'm gonna leave that for um, when I get back home. And then I gotta wash my hands, because I gotta call my Ubi. Okay, I'm gonna call the Uber now. You wait right here, I just gotta wash my hands. Uber pick up in five minutes, that's good. Okay, actually, let's do the most with the earrings. That looks way better. I got one gold, one silver. I know the girls is gonna hate it, but the girls hate me. Oh, it would have been cute if I put the red earrings in the back, but there's no way I can get those on with these nails in a timely manner. I literally can't even pick up my earring back. And I gotta pee. Oh my gosh. I'm literally not even late. Like, I'm gonna be there at the exact time it starts, but that's just kind of too close for me. Like, I don't like it. We're gonna do some Sol de Janeiro Blatty Oil. And for fragrance, let's do Saint Noir. Because we're wearing Sol de Janeiro, so we're already going sweet. And I'm gonna bring something with me in my purse. Then let's mix that with Valentino. I hate leaving my house messy because it means I gotta clean when I come home. I don't like that. Got my lipstick in here. Yup. Okay. Oh, I gotta put on the socks. My little kitty socks. And I gotta switch a battery out so I can take y'all with me. Unless you wanna stay home. Like, whatever. Your day, not mine, babes. We're well, here. And my mascara is driving me crazy for some reason, but it's about to. I don't know if it's about to start actually. I think we're gonna see panels. Big topic. So that's basically all we do as an agency is we make like thousands of TikToks. Um <laughs> destroyed a popsicle so if it look crazy it's because it is oh my gosh i ripped my wig off my head and i got a wig rip bump it hurts i think that's the only one though usually there's a couple i should leave the wig like this I'll just go outside mm. let me get some bobby pins we're gonna make a summer bop a summer bop that's fart take out the stop and then snip away instant bangs I wonder how many people get irritated when I do this. Mm. Boom, shock a lock. Oh, they're too long. I still got time to shock a lock of the boom. Should I keep it big? No, it's summer, man. It's hot. I want to keep it long, though, but that's not. It's not on brand with the temperature. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Like, I feel like it's too hot. I gotta see. I'm doing this because y'all are literally in front of my mirror, so I cannot see myself. I can't see properly in the view, fan, though, because she's fine in the view. I'm thinking Bob Summer, so like here. I don't know, I kinda don't wanna Bob. Stop! I need a Summer Bob. There's a lot of different things happening in this video. Sorry. I'm just an ordinate re-girl. Much better. Ah! I'm trying to frame my face a little better. I want like a real Summer Bob. Like we're going short. Okay, we're framing the face a little better. Like I like that. The longer I sit on it, it grows on me. I do think I could even out the top, but then I think it's really gonna give bald. <laughs> I mean, I'm already bald, so I don't wanna be bald with a bald looking wig. But when it's longer, I can do stuff like that. And then when I turn it to the side, I kinda like it. I don't know. I need to like sit on it for a minute. Well, I just got the, 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 I got this ribbon. I have this clip in my hair. Is this gonna be cute? I don't know. Um, hello? Oh. And that answers that. Oh, maybe if I can like tuck it a little? Nope, no, absolutely not actually. Me looking for any excuse to wear a ribbon in my hair. Is that cute or stupid? I agree, it's stupid. Facile! That has to be right. We're going to their event today. I can't believe I've had this makeup on since 8 a.m. It is 5 p.m. The dinner starts at seven. Nia told me to start getting dressed like an hour ago. So maybe I should listen, so let's go. I'm sitting here trying to get ready and something's telling me to cut this a little short. Just a little, I swear, just a little, just a little off the top, like, put the knife down. It's just a little off the top, y'all. So it sits better on the head. Now, now chill, chill. Look, 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 look. It's fine. It just needed a bit more, like, low-key even just this little tip at the end. Like, just, 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 just chill, like, just chill. 
Chill, like you're not chilled right now. You're actually like the opposite. See? I feel like y'all should trust me with my scissors now. I don't know where it came from that you can't trust me with my scissors. Like that's sexy and gorgeous. You should have trusted me. I hope you did. Okay, we're on the way to the dinner. The color wasn't working at first, so I'm a little bit late. I'm not happy about it because I'm late to everything lately. Being late is not in my character. We're on the highway. And I look so pretty. And I smell so good. I can smell my stuff, so it's not focusing, but I do my makeup really glowy. I don't remember if I showed y'all this, but I bought out this dress from the cram shop last year. If anybody remembered. Okay, now I'll see y'all at the dinner. It's Thames. It is Thames. It's Thames. Right? Something like that. <laughs> look how thick I look. Like, what? Okay. That's a booty. Let's do it. Um, okay. Sexy song. And I was on like, beat. Like, don't play. First of all, I look so good. Before I start, I just wanted to say thank you to Danielle and the whole Facile team for having me. I've known Danielle for a good amount of time now. Oh, I joined in. Okay, we're epilating our legs today, y'all. I already did some of it because I'm making it for filming it for YouTube, for for TikTok, and it hurts so much worse than anything else I've ever related. So I've brought you here to watch me suffer. And I need you guys for moral support. Oh, oh, oh. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Those felt like stabbing. Those felt like stabbing. Don't stab me. That felt stabby, Patricia. Ouch. Yo, this hurts for real. Which is weird because I've been epilating my arms. I bet you my bikini area. Okay, the bikini was a little rough, but I was like relatively fine. But this hurts, which makes sense because my legs are really sensitive to pain and discomfort when it's cold, honestly. Typically it's my arms, so it's kind of throwing me off. I'll also link the epilator on my storefront and my shop front. All right, that's all I got in me for this leg. She needs to rest. So my epilator died. So I guess that's it for today. We will finish the rest tomorrow. I just set it to charge, but I do have my, my biggest op is back. So I'm gonna try getting her again because I have a face up later too. So I'm gonna try that one really quick. Oh, the cap is on. All I was doing is take it off my makeup. Actually, I'm realizing that's not smart. It's literally gonna put makeup in the hole. That's not smart, don't do that. Okay, it's time to cut my hair. It's time to cut our hair with mommy. She's over here. Girl. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick it up. Her excited for me to take off my wig is crazy. You don't like this wig? I love it. It's one of my best wigs in a while. Okay. I'm ready. I already took it off. Oh my gosh. It looks like <gasps> I've been pulling my hair out again. My hairline is so far back. Brush it out. No, it's literally my fault. I literally been twirling. When I get anxious, I go like this. Oh, let me put on my, my cape. Okay. So brush first. Yeah. Yeah. And in a man of you and you wanna be. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, nice what? Oh my gosh, I'm losing my green. But I'm okay with it because I look like an iguana. Yeah. I look like a dirty chia pet. Woo! Oh my gosh, it looks like I have a mohawk. Because the center is green. <laughs> she didn't think it was funny. You know what is watching Shadow Dexter? Oh my gosh, we haven't watched that in so long. We used to love Dexter. So funny. I need to watch that again. I kind of forgot what happens. I just remember that show messing with my moral compass. I was like, wait, my light died, hold on. Like, I felt like I couldn't decide whether what he was doing was really bad or not. And it was stressing me out. Hold on one sec. I know one thing you said. He's just, he's really good at it. Wait, I thought I told you, hold on. All right. I gotta get a new light, mine died. Why is this one orange? I don't wanna be on the soccer team, mom. Uh, Nothing. Let's do the dust, guys. We have a family album, and every time my sister takes an ugly picture of one of us, she immediately uploads it with no context. I deleted it on my end. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Wait, was it the picture of you eating something? Yes, I'm... You look like a monster! That was terrible, Shadow. You saw the picture she put to me in there? She's terrible. Let me close out my video. You want to tell them bye? 
Say bye, Pookies. That's what I call them. I call them Pookies. Say bye, Pookies. Bye, my Shasha. Say bye, Pookies. Bye, who? Pookies. That's what I call them. Pookies. Oh, bye, Pookies. Bye. It's been a blast. Uh, are you closing out a show? That hurts really bad. I'm about to try a whole bunch of new stuff because I can do that. Ow! I'm not gonna tell you what I did, but it just know it hurt. That's all you need to know. Also, this headband, keeping all my hair back. Anyway, first we're gonna try the Say Beauty. We're gonna try the Say Beauty Super Glow Star Gel, I think is what it's called. Glowy Super Gel. There's three options. There's Sun Glow, I think it's Rose Glow, Rose Glow, and Star Glow. I didn't realize this was like a viral product. I was just looking it up on TikTok to see how to use it, and I guess, I thought this isn't new, I guess. And I guess people like it, and Star Glow is supposed to be a universal shade, so it's supposed to be dark skin friendly. I guess general. <coughs> I guess generally like everyone's supposed to be able to use it. And I watched a video of a dark skin creator using it and she said she really liked it. So I don't know, I'm assuming it's a really good product. Kind of want to see what they all look like, but I have one line of battery left. So let me get a new battery. Okay, this is the creator whose video I saw. I'm starting to see the glow, y'all. That blended out so easily. So I trust it. Let's try it. I do want to see what they all look like. So this is the one she used. This is Star Glow. Then I think Rose Glow is next. Rose Glow. My stomach hurts. I need to go make a sandwich. And then Sun Glow. I feel like I'm gonna wanna use Sun Glow. It looks bronzier. Here's what they all look like. Star Glow. Oh wow, that really does just like melt in. Rose Glow. I wanna see if it's actually gonna, wow, there's actually like a little bit of a pink t hue. Oh, it's not. It's not like very significant though. Like I do wonder why there's different ones if they're all gonna look similar. Like if this one doesn't give a little bit of a bronze, I'd be confused. Oh, okay. I will say I, I definitely noticed a slight like brown hue, bronzy hue from the sun glow. I'm gonna try that one on my face. The videos I saw, they put it under their makeup. So that's what I'm gonna do. I did aggressively tweeze my eyebrows today because I don't tweeze my, ooh. I have never tweezed my eyebrows, especially how I did today. I'm literally telling y'all this to tell you why I can't put product on my eyebrow and then I put it on my eyebrow. I've never tweezed my eyebrows, like ever. I just never had the paint tolerance for it. My mom always tweezed her eyebrows and she would always like, Tell me how it's not that bad, it's not that bad. My mom is also literally industrial. She is so strong, physically, and she has a very high pain tolerance. So I'm like, yeah, girl, I'm sure you, I'm sure you think it's not that big of a deal. But I literally just started today and I started going crazy. And I fear I like it. I think thin eyebrows just fit my face the best. I feel like I'm 26, but I'm still finding the look that I like the most. Because, I mean, I thought that I knew the look that I liked the most with the everyday makeup routine that I used to have. And I mean, I just don't think that's true anymore because I don't even like how that makeup looks anymore. So I don't know. I thought I liked this natural era, but I don't know, man. I feel like I'll be pretending. I'm gonna put star glow over this just for the hell of it. I wanna be really glowy today. I do think sun glow had a bronzing effect. I keep putting stuff on my eyebrow. And let's see if this actually makes an impact when I do my makeup. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do my, every, ouch, my everyday foundation. Just cause I don't think I'm gonna do a full face. I'm tired. And I wanna sandwich and I wanna lay down and watch TV. Honestly, I'm gonna get some concealer. I'm gonna do something that's a secret third thing. Okay, while I was doing my concealer, I'm sitting here like, mm, does this feel like something that's worth money? And then I looked again and I was like, okay, I think that it does do what it, says it intends to. Unless this is something that you really care about as a product, like a glowy base product. I think it's just one of those things that you can achieve the look with highlighter. Like there's a liquid highlighter. I don't really know what the price point is, so I think that would be relevant because it's a good product. It does what it says it will. However, I feel like the price point is gonna significantly impact how much I feel like it's a necessary product because it does work, it is nice, but I feel like you can get any sort of glow with any liquid highlighter. And I actually do see it's very glowy. I feel like I look like I just finished some crazy skincare routine. And I just mixed my concealer with it. I said that so repetitively. I said the same thing for 25 seconds. Oh my gosh. Blame my sister, she does it and I talk to her too much. Oh my God. I mixed some of it with my concealer so that when I spot concealer on my face, it'll still have that same dewy look instead of a matte splotch on my face and then a bunch of dewiness all around. So I put some here so it's spot concealing. But I mean, I kind of just have like mini breakouts right now. Nothing significant that I think I need to cover with concealer because I'm pretty small. 
and putting product over a small pimple doesn't alleviate its appearance in any way so stop looking at me we're gonna try the blush they sent as well this is the this is the say beauty dewy i can't read this is the say beauty dew blush in the shade baby what a cute jake name wait i kind of want to try this no yes no i feel like i already got you excited Ooh, pretty the Applicator is interesting. It feels like a gloss applicator. This is the MAC 16 8S. Oh, that's nice. It's incredibly subtle though. I guess I didn't really expect much pigment from just how it looked on initial application. Oh my gosh, MAC brushes are so nice, but they shed everywhere. Get off my face. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. And that's it. We're gonna keep the look pretty, pretty dewy. Ah, oh, but I have to set. Whoa! Let's see if it stays looking dewy once I get some powder in the mix. Let's see. Where the hell is my powder puff? I actually really like the glow underneath. If it's reasonably priced, I actually would say I recommend it. I'm putting on their, I think this is Quartz Glow. Quartz Glow highlighter right now. Because I forgot this thing is good. This is also their brush. They have like the best little big ass brushes. Little big ass brushes. The best big chunky brushes. And I said I want to look glowy today. I think it's given that. Oh. The makeup is looking so glowy. I do fear I look kind of like Chucky, though, so. That's not what I wanted to do. Don't touch my stuff. Ooh, it's all the BT21 stuff. There's a shea butter oil. There's a brow gel, I think, yes. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know the Crumb Shot had brow gels. There's a mango smoothie lip mask. What the hecky poo poo? The Crumb Shop always gives the best like surprise gifts. There's a plumping lip moisturizer, a lip oil. Let me know if you guys want me to like try everything on. I'm down for like a creme shop video. This is cute. There's so much stuff in here. If you don't know what BT, what? If you don't know what BT21 is, I'm pretty sure it's the, like the BTS thing. But anyway, there, I thought there was mascara in there. There's not. Say Beauty also sent their mascara. Loki gagged me. Like, look at the difference. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, this glasses brand actually sent us some glasses from the, I think they have like a Naruto line. I'm gonna tell you the name of the brand right now. Oh, Jins. Look, this is pair one. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me? Hold on, I have to wash them. That's why I didn't put them on. <laughs> and these ones are the Sakura glasses. You freaking kidding me? Wait, let me take my, I gotta take my influencer pits, but they do come with these like Naruto glasses cleaners. That's tea. And they come in like um they come in like scrolls. Okay, we're getting ready to go to set. <gasps> we're gonna be filming with Brat TV today. It's supposed to be this like spooky thing, but it's not supposed to be too scary because um I asked. But I came on here to talk about something so unrelated because I was just sitting here thinking about it. I'm about to put on a ginger wig. Um, so if I come in another clip and I look different, that's why. Also I have to use my breath. Anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. It's gonna actually be so different. Anyway, I'm just gonna talk. Whenever people have discussions about like their differences in politics and how it affects their real life, it always shocks me, but not really, that people even think that for a second that it's unreasonable to no longer want to associate with somebody that has political views that are harmful to the person that you are. Why as a black person, as a black woman, would you be surprised that someone doesn't want to associate with you because of your political views that are racist and misogynist? Like what, why would you be shocked? You're shocked? And it just always, it always, get, it pretend gags me because I feel like I've learned to just, I know I've learned to expect, not to expect much when it comes to that type of conversation with people. That's why I like to get them out of the way when I first start getting to know somebody or I start making friends with somebody because I need to know the type of person you are fundamentally before I decide to integrate you into my life. And then now three years down the line, I find out you're like a raging racist. I'd rather not. Like don't ever play with her. I'm gonna be the cutest ginger that's ever gingered. Okay, we don't have much time to play, so let's get to installing babes. Okay, 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 okay. I saw a couple questions about what glue I use. Bold hold active. She's been holding me down, like good and strong. I was tricking myself into thinking that Ghost Bond was eating. Um, she wasn't eating nothing but my edges. So do with that what you will. Let's get to installing. I told y'all I don't pretend forehead anymore, which I'm feeling really good about. But some of these wigs be small. Ooh, 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 ooh. Also, I think I told y'all I think I'll be using too much glue. So we're using a little less glue and I'm like oh no that's still a lot let's scrape some of that off also 
I thought people were really gonna like that I started doing install videos again. That video flopped so bad. So do you guys just prefer it when it's in a vlog then? Because I think I did a poll and everybody said they preferred it as its own standalone video. But clearly, that's a lie. So I'm confused. I'm gonna just keep doing them in vlogs. I think I'm gonna make one how to install a wig, like wig install basics video. And I think that's gonna be the last like standalone wig video I make on YouTube just because I don't think YouTube really likes to see that as a standalone anymore. It seems like you guys really just like vlogs and that's it. Even the gaming video, I feel like I'm kind of trying to integrate everything on my platform at once, which is something I want to do, but I don't know. I kind of want to also like do things you guys like. So I'm a little conflicted. So we've got to work, work, work this out. We'll make things right. The sun will shine. Mm -hmm. You know what's making me mad about the fact that I'm pressed for time right now? I used to always be such a, cause I have like 15 minutes. I used to be such a punctual person. Like early first person to everything, was there 10, 15 minutes before something started. Hear ye. Now you know who the queen is. I saw a TikTok yesterday about a brand that took their top customers on a brand trip and they ate that. That makes sense. Even before I was a creator, and as a creator, I think that that makes so much sense. Yes, it's cool to take creators, like I love a brand trip. However, I think it just makes so much sense to take a top customer. They're literally directly supporting the brand. Like that's so tea, they should do that more often. Other brands should take notes. Other people should start taking their top customers on brand trips, that's really cool. This looks so good. We just gotta be pressing that glue in. Like purr. Okay, after this, I'm gonna put my clothes on cause pressed for time, pressed for time, pressed for time. Oh, I chimed in. Diamond you baby, like her Closing the gods, I'm turned. <coughs> like she's not a joke. Like don't laugh. There's a lot of options. Okay, I'm gonna eeny, meeny, miny, mow it. Out you may go with your big fat toe and you are not it. I grabbed this one, 2.30 Sunday. Do you guys want me to try them all? Y'all know I love a try on. Let me put her ass back over here. Okay, let me know. Ah! Now that surprised me. I do kind of like it. Hold on, hold on. And I don't even like pink lips, but it's kind of cute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is it gagging me a little bit? Why is it gagging me? I kind of want to put the Fenty Gloss over it though. It's very smooth. I feel like the pigment comes through without needing a whole bunch of force, which I think is what I look for with a lipstick. Doesn't feel like I even push much down on the original tube. Actually still looks pretty new. I wonder if it will last long. I want to I wanna give it a, a trial but I also wanna put on lip gloss today. I wonder if, actually I'm gonna leave it for a little bit and see if it's a satin lip. It feels kinda of satiny, it doesn't feel very matte. Okay, let's cut this lace off my head cause I'm um, running out of time. Time, we're running out of, what song is that? Very optimistic about this wig. She really did gag me. And I'm wondering if I should like brush out the curls or if we don't know how good that'll look. Um, Get out of the way. Seriously? Oh my gosh, this lace is great. It's very thin as well. Wow. Gag me! They're probably used to it. Sorry. It's... <laughs> Go Lars. Go Lars. Go oh. Lars. Okay. I think you're gonna need more or uh, less. Uh, less. <laughs> And going in order, again, this is for the end where we show that you're alive, and then you're dead, and then you got hurt real bad. I take two, my dear. All right, and you lived! You won! You saved the day! Very nice. You rolled <laughs> a lot of sixes. <laughs> All right, and this time, you died. It didn't go so good. You got stabbed in the head. <laughs> and there was no cheese. <laughs> real tragedy. I like the slow walk away. Hi, my name is Shallon and you're watching Crip TV. Yes. I feel like I did kind of like a triangle. That was good, yeah, it, it all works in the cut. So I just got back from the rat set. It was so fun. We were playing a game and the game was kind of like this horror game, but it wasn't very scary. Y'all know I don't do that scary stuff. We had the purge and we basically had like a storyteller in front of us and he was telling us like, oh, Come on, LA driver, purr, show your ass, purr. And he was typically, he was just explaining to us like, okay, so for example, we were in a gas station and we had like three rankings. There was strength, smarts, and hustle. I think hustle was like how quick we could get on our feet to think of, how quick we think on our feet to get out of a situation. We had five points. I gave myself three 
for hustle, one for smarts and one for strength. Not because I think I'm stupid, I think I'm very intelligent, but I gave myself more for hustle because I really do think I can get, think quick on my feet to get out of something. And I know I'm not strong, like, she's, she's not scaring nobody. Sorry, I'm so bad at explaining stuff. If we roll dice to like see what we would have and he would tell the story based on what we roll. So like if I rolled a six, I would be really successful in whatever my next move was. And if I rolled a one, I would probably get a really bad injury. So our story was we were in a gas station on the purge night and we just heard the alarm and we see that there's two guys pulling up on a motorcycle and they have bats and masks. So we're like, oh shit. So I think it was my role and I was like, okay. Okay, I'm gonna look for a crowbar. I'm gonna look for a weapon and find the back door. And the guy's like, is the back door open? I'm like, At yeah, he's like, is Turn it? left onto North Crescent Heights Boulevard. He's like, is it? Cause that's what I decide. And he basically picks the outcome of the story on his own based on what you roll. It was fun. I explained it so bad though. So um, good luck understanding that. Read one today. Not one, not two, but three pints of the honeycomb lavender ice cream. I've never been happier. I'd like to thank my mom. I'd also like to thank Beyonce. You know, it's not possible without my mom and Beyonce. Also, they had kind bars on set. I took 80, so. Greed really won today. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, I won. Okay, I just got home from Brat, Bat TV? Brat TV. And I'm realizing I don't know how. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm realizing I don't know how I'm gonna braid this for the night because it's short. I'm gonna try my best because the back, like, she's real short, yo. Let's try to do it like like a standard, standard way. I'm gonna use the Mio leave-in conditioner. I remember I mentioned loving this in a TikTok. Why somebody say, and you know that shit don't work for you. Uh, I'm gonna do so many hairstyles with this wig. Oh my gosh, wait, maybe I do like short hair. Gagged myself. Call an ambulance, call an ambulance. But not for me. I'm gonna have to like do fours for this. I don't know how I would do two braids. It's really short. And then this is the pattern wide tube comb because I love her. Why is it cute even like that? Now I do look like the Mad Hatter, but that's besides the point. I thought that I figured out the, the code to my socks hurt making my ankles itch. Not my ankles, my, my legs itch, the bottom of my legs. And I thought I figured it out. It's quite apparent that I did not because they're itching really bad and they have the lines on them right now. I'll literally show you guys when we get out the bathroom. I thought that it was just whenever I wore really tight socks. That is apparently not the case. It seems that it does not matter the sock. I'm still having it. So I don't know if there's like a, maybe there's like a medical sock I need. Maybe I should tell my doctor about it because it makes wearing socks, any socks that cover my ankles really uncomfortable. My legs, like it's like unbearable. Like the last time this happened, I think I posted it on my story. I literally like scratched my legs up so bad my legs were bleeding, bleeding. Like I, from, from me just scratching away, I was literally leaking. That's ridiculous. Okay, wait, this is actually perfectly easy and fine. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be so much harder. And then we've got our little, yeah, yeah. I feel like my Ariana Grande, yeah, is getting worse. I feel like I used to be so good at it. Yeah, that was okay. That was okay. Yeah. No, 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 that was bad. Wait, I need to like walk into it. Yeah. <sighs> she's she's doing something in the metaverse right now and it's and, and that's what's stopping me. She's, okay, wait, this was actually cuter than I thought and I like the little braids. I literally think they're cute. The little braids are actually super adorbs. Also, I just started using the Kiehl's Whipped, what is it, Superfood Air Whipped Moisture Cream. Um, just because I think I just, I said I wanted to start using all the stuff I have. I get gifted all this stuff and then I don't use this stuff and then I donate the stuff and then whatever I'm left with, it's like, okay, girl, use it or donate it. So I'm trying all this stuff. So far, I like it. I think it's very moisturizing. It's very light, which makes sense. It says it's air whipped. I'm going to start using it consistently to see how I feel how my skin reacts. My skin seems to like it. It seems like it really quenches the thirst of my face. My skin is very dry. But typically, I don't think I like light moisturizers because my skin has just become very dry over the years. I used to have oily skin. Would you believe that considering how dry it is now? Probably not. But I used to have really oily skin. And it just kind of changed one day and now it's combination slash dry. And now I realize my face loves a deep moisture moment. I love this wig. I'm going to have to buy it again. I didn't think I was gonna like it this much. Ah! So I think that's why I really like the Purple Tatcha Moisturizer and I really like the Kiehl's Moisturizer. Those feel very intense. I'm trying to think what was a really intense one. I like the Tatcha Water Cream 
for it being a lighter moisturizer, I feel like my skin still likes it, but it's still lighter than I prefer. I'm trying to think. Oh, I love the Lancome looking at my empty shelf. I think that's... I did really like the milk. It was a milk one I was using a couple months ago. It was in like a yellow jar. I liked it at the time, but I feel like one day it just kind of stopped moisturizing my face, which gagged me because it was like really highly moisturizing when I first started using it. And then it felt like one day it just decided to stop. She literally woke up and decided she's not gonna do her job. Call an ambulance! So I don't really use that anymore. Oh my gosh, these little braids. <laughs> they look so cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My neck is cracking. Um, and then I really like the future wise though. Future wise, they eat. And this is all the shedding. Talk to me nice. Like, talk to me nice. You know why I don't like wearing human hair? Oh my gosh, the little girl. I don't like wearing human hair wigs either. A big part of it is the fact that I don't have to style these. I just put it on. I just put it on. I don't got time to be styling the wig. Woo! I'm gonna try these face masks that I got from all these brands. I have one from Charlotte Tilbury. I've had this for like three years. I don't know if these expire, but. Hopefully not. And I have these from Pixie. I actually had another one that was really old from them, but then they sent me a new one. There's three different masks in here. It says there's aloe vera, cucumber, and chamomile. Oh, oh, oh no, they, all the masks have those three ingredients. That makes sense. I think this was the mask that I put in the fridge last time and then, um, forgot. Okay, let me put this one in the fridge. Okay. Well, we gotta take off our makeup first and then do that. <sighs> Where's my makeup? Freaking me baby. I'll use the Tilbury today. Oh, my pharmacy's on the way. My favorite makeup remover of all time is the Pharmacy Cleansing Balm. But I don't have that right now, but I think they're actually sending me stuff right now, so that'd be cool. So for now, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Take It All Off because right now, this is my favorite makeup remover. I really liked the Milk Balm, but then it feels like when it got in my eyes, it would burn really bad. So I like using their other makeup remover. <laughs> Let's take this shit out. Cotton rounds. I just like to do this. One. Imagine this coming for you in the night. I filmed a, a horror movie short a while ago and I never posted it because I was trying to be scary in the short and then I sent it to everybody and they were like, this is scary? And they all laughed. So, um, she never saw the light. <laughs> I just kind of try to get the eyes off as best I can. Whenever I like rush, touch here, this eye kind of hurts. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get the hell up out of here. My Hey, 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 hey. Excuse me. Don't act like you don't be yawning like that. Okay? Don't piss me off. <laughs> the way that looked mad scary. Oh my gosh. And then I just do one more wipe of the eyes because it's typically the place I struggle with the most to get makeup off of. And then, lips gone. She's mine. You stay away from her. It's not her time. Okay, we're almost done. Hey, hey, hey. Now let's cleanse. My Dove Beauty Bar is um, on the verge of death. <laughs> she looks crazy. But you know what, she's, okay. She's gotten me through the toughest of times, as you can tell. No matter what cleanse for you, I kinda like to use Dove first, just cause I usually can just use this to take my makeup off, but. I maybe could double cleanse with the Skin Fix, cause I wanted to try this, but I also don't wanna lay down, so no. We'll try it next time. I've been seeing people, a lot of people try this. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. I feel like I don't know what it is, um, but we're gonna try it anyway. I feel like it's giving like face serum, which I like to use the Herborean oil for. So I don't know if this is supposed to like replace that in my routine, but that's usually last. It smells like skincare. It's not like an intense fragrance, but it smells like something. It doesn't really feel like much. It kind of doesn't feel like what I put anything on. It doesn't even say what it's supposed to be on the bottle. It's just a little bunch of ingredients. I guess we'll see. Hopefully I still have a face tomorrow. I've been using the Kiehl's Moisturizer Duo t lately, but I've been trying out the last two days. Get out of my eye. Get out of my eye. You don't get to live here for free. For the last couple of days, I've been trying out the You To The People's Moisture Cream. It's very moisturizing, but it is light. It's worn really nice under makeup. I wore it today on set, and my smile lines were like 2% cracked, which is astounding. It has only been a couple of days though, so we'll see if she keeps it up. I was supposed to use the face mask. Okay, it says it's aloe vera, cucumber, and chamomile. Soothing and cooling sheet mask. Let's try it, I just got it out the fridge. Oh my gosh, it's cold. I'm scared. Girl, I don't got time for this. I wonder if I can wear it and then go take my shower. I feel like that should be fine. <gasps> oh, it's cold as hell. Oh my gosh, that is cold. That is cold. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It does feel incredibly nice on the skin. Let's like get in formation, as, as Queen says. I'm kind of excited. Okay, wait, I kind of have to shut up. This is biodegradable. I'm being on for 10 to 15 minutes. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, I feel like my face can breathe again. Wow, they said rub the excess product in. Touch a lip tint. Mm, 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 mm. I've been really liking this after the shower, the Taraji Shea Butter, but then I also like the Future Rise body cream. It's literally lean in. But you know what? In the spirit of the Tilbury, I'll use her magic body lotion. It feels okay. I feel like the moisture doesn't last as long as, for example, the Future Societies. The video of Andrea. Bye. <laughs>